Hello, hello, and welcome <clears throat> to our very first Sunrise Manifesting Monday energy and card reading meditation. <laughs> I know it's a really long name. It just keeps getting longer and longer as we try to put in everything that we are hoping to accomplish together here each and every Monday. So a few housekeeping things as we wait for people to gather and do please say hello and where you are from. Um, Costa Rica is my first stop on a worldwide journey. I plan to be doing these events each Monday morning from a different place every time for the month of uh, the rest of January and, of, and for February we'll be in Costa Rica and then March we'll be in Peru and then in April, probably part of April, we'll be in Canada and then possibly on to Ireland. Um, but Ireland no later than May and then other places in Europe. And I'm just going to kind of wait and see what calls to me, what I want to go and do and see what opportunities arise, what collaborations I might be doing with other teachers. Um, there's just a wide open field of opportunity and possibility for how this year is going to play out. Um, but the one thing that I do know is I have everything I own in a backpack and I am experiencing and learning and acquiring, um, I don't want to say the word knowledge because the path that we're on in exploring our spirituality in exploring our connection to spirit is a quest with no destination that the very nature of god the very nature of our creator is to be ineffable so our mission is not to and I, i'm sort of paraphrasing from the the buddhist um learning that i have heard in various places that the idea is not to know God, the idea is to seek God, right? And so we are just on this magnificent adventure in this human body, on this earthly plane, a divine immortal being having a very short excursion as a human animal and playing our part, playing the part that our soul came here to play in the expansion and growth of the universe, right? So feeling our way into that place of being absolutely and completely infinite, being absolutely and completely immortal, and at the same time, treasuring each moment of this human life, which has value because of its brevity. So, there, there's a feeling of seeking out immortality. We are sort of obsessed with this in a lot of our art and our literature and our entertainment that the bad guy is always seeking to stay immortal in this human body and vampires are immortal. and We create these creatures that will live forever in this body when that really isn't the idea. The idea is to live exactly the right amount of time in this body to fulfill the purpose of our soul. And for some of us, this may be moments. For some of this, this may be a hundred years or more. And as we evolve and change and our beliefs change, you know, it, it may become common to stay in this human body for 150 years or 200 years. We can't know how our beliefs and acceptance will change as this planet evolves as we as the collective human mind evolve right so mysteries and mysteries so good morning to nicole um yay nicole you know i i am so much in love with the idea of meeting people here in costa rica who i can form collaborations with meeting people in peru in ireland or meeting people in Australia that we have remote collaborations for. There is no limitation as to what we can do together as co-creators with our creator, 
on this planet. And good morning to Brenda from Texas and Crystal from California, Rachel in muddy Missouri. Nicole is also in Missouri and Patrice is still snow covered in Wisconsin. See, it's so fascinating to me. Exactly one week away ago, I was sitting in snow covered Tennessee in zero degree and below temperatures. And now it's already starting to be sweaty time. I don't know the exact temperature, but it's already in the 70s here in Costa Rica, which is what I was seeking, a new experience, a new climate, a new culture. Um, good morning, Lauren <laughs> from Brisk, Ohio. So a lot of people from the States here today, um, which is wonderful. So another housekeeping point, next week, we are moving this gathering earlier to six o'clock a.m. because my goal, my wish, my dream is to actually find a way to be outside with the sunrise and experience that together and experience the full moon together and experience the summer solstice, all of the great natural wonders that happen each and every day on this planet. I want us to be exactly with them. Now today, I the best that I could do, I am facing east, the sun is already up. Um, and behind me, you can see the part of the tropical jung jungle. I am still in a neighborhood. I'm out of the city. I packed up yesterday and left San Jose and came to San Isidro de General in um, still the San Jose province, but up in the mountains w away from the city. This is a sleepy town compared to San Jose, but I am still in a neighborhood and I still am still surrounded by um, homes and buildings, but all of these, these structures are integrated into nature. And the sounds that you hear are roosters and chickens and tropical birds and dogs and all sounds that are near and dear to my heart. Now, during our meditation, we may hear cars, we may hear people, we may hear, there's no way to anticipate what we will hear. And it will be our choice to tune those sounds out or to allow them to be a part of this experience that we're going to have together for just a short half hour today. All right, so um, over the past weeks, I was in a place where crystals and cards and non-traditional, it's hard to de describe, but in any way, it wasn't really acceptable to use those things in our um, ceremonies in the places that I was. So to honor the beliefs of the people that were surrounding me at that time, for the past few weeks, we've been doing only a morning meditation, but this morning we're back to being able to do whatever we want. <laughs> and so usually I choose a crystal for us to guide us in our journey but today I, I really couldn't choose and I'm traveling with a very minimum of items to play with so what spoke to me today was to have all of the crystal so this is kind of a representation of our chakra system a, a red jasper for the root chakra carnelian for the sacral chakra a citrine which is one of my favorite stones for the solar plexus chakra. Um, a beautiful heart-shaped tiger eye that is a precious gift from a precious friend and a sunstone to represent our heart chakra. The lapis lazuli for the throat and um, a labradorite for our third eye and a clear quartz for the crown, right? And then I have also already chosen our cards, and I'm going to share these with you um, specifically, each and every one. So the the in some of these gatherings, we do our meditation first, and then we look at the cards to see what additional messages or are there, and usually to just marvel at the synchronicity of how the cards reflect what we've already experienced in our meditation and in our receiving of 
wisdom and divine love and from infinite intelligence from our creator. But this time I wanted to do things a little bit differently and look at the cards first and then go into our meditation and guidance and give you an opportunity to ask questions if you have them, to say what kind of guidance and wisdom you would love to receive as you are joining me on this beautiful journey. So finally, um, check out the Happy and Free on Purpose life course on Insight Timer. If you are watching this video anywhere besides live here with me on Insight Timer, um, check the descriptions for the link to join us live on Insight Timer. Um, this is the richest experience in being here together and feeling the energy of all of us gathered together. But no matter where or when you are receiving these messages, this is the exact right time for you. You will use your wise discernment to extract all of the information that is in best service of your highest good in this moment, whether it's tomorrow, next week, or a decade from now. All of these spiritual experiences happen outside of time and space. And so it's relevant for you no matter when you are hearing and witnessing and being present with the, these messages. All right, so. The cards that we have drawn today, the, the deck that I'm traveling with you is, is the Sacred Travelers Oracle card deck. And this is the one that we will use mostly unless I acquire others, but I also have with me a miniature Wild Kuan Yin deck from um, Alana Fairchild. The, the Sacred Traveler deck is Denise Lynn, who is one of my absolute very favorites. And then I, this was a very interesting thing that I chose to do is I brought with me just the book from the Sacred Rebels Oracle deck because uh, it is so rich and so full of beautiful healings, beautiful meditations, beautiful messages, but the deck itself was too big to carry with me, so I just use a random number generator to choose which card it is, which the universe can work with us and speak with us in any way, infinite ways, and then enjoy the messages from that. So in our private readings, we can do any combination of these cards. All right, so the first card that we drew today is Embracing Enthusiasm. Good morning, Lindsay from Florida. And the message is to shout to the heavens with happiness. And I'm, I'm gonna share with you um, a card that I, that I drew from the Sacred Rebel stack at the end of this because I believe that it ties everything together. And the next is fellow travel, travelers. And that's all of us joined here together today. That this is the friends that you meet on the street that you choose to talk to, that you choose to engage with in a conversation at a coffee shop, in a conversation online, in a group. The, the message is that support is all around you. And uh, so I, I can't wait to get to the end of this because the third is valiant courage. And the message is to take action with passion. So since I began this journey, um, physically traveling to unfamiliar places, to places that are considered unsafe, I have been just bombarded with messages of, oh, be safe, be careful, watch yourself. And just this feeling of a fear from every direction. And I noticed even in myself that when I'm saying goodbye to someone who is going on a journey, the automatic response is to say, be careful. And I had to stop and question this. What, why would you say to someone that you will love and adore to be full of care, to be full of fear, to beware, when what we really mean is to be carefree, to be in joy, to be in freedom, to be in faith that everything is working out for our highest good and that can, there can never be damage to your immortal soul and that your life in this body is playing out according to divine plan 
And when you can look back on your life in any instant in your life, you can see how no matter how good or bad that incident was, it played a role in something in the future for yourself or for someone else or for the world at large. And so moving forward with enthusiasm, moving forward with confidence and grace and love and faith in our fellow human beings and having valiant courage to pursue your passions, to pursue your joy, to be exactly who you are, disregarding any opinion from anywhere besides inside your own heart is, is the, the grand message that I'm feeling for us here today. And so the card that I drew for the Sacred Rebel deck was the Sacred Fool. And I frequently, frequently draw the zero in the tarot deck, which is the fool. And I very, very much identify with the, the archetype of the fool, which is to be in so much childlike curiosity and wonder in every single moment that you are happily and gratefully and joyfully entering into chaos understanding that there is beauty, there is order, and there is richness within this chaos that you bring. So this, this is very ineffable and very difficult for the human mind to speak and to understand. So let's listen for these messages as we go into meditation and we receive from spirit all of the guidance and wisdom that is related to this. So again, if you have questions that you are seeking answers to if you have wisdom and guidance that you seek say this in your heart say this in your mind share it in the comments if you choose all right all right if this is your first time meditating with me the these instructions are always the same and very very important if you're returning to meditate with me again then you already know what i'm going to say you can go ahead and get in your favorite meditation position so the idea of a spiritual practice is that you are devoting reverent time each and every day to this relationship, this relationship that you have with you and you, the relationship that you have with you and your higher self, with you and your source, your creator, your God, spirit, Whatever you choose to call the force that beats your heart, even if you have no name for it, to give time and attention to tend to this relationship and to be mindful of what you are bringing forth into each and every day is the idea of a spiritual practice. And when you honor your beautiful, amazing, miraculous, and wise body in this practice, then it is much easier to return to this practice each and every day. So there is absolutely no right or wrong way to connect to spirit. There is absolutely no right or wrong way to have your own spiritual development. And any teacher that tells you, you must do it this way, you must sit this way, you must use these cards, you must use these crystals, you must face in this direction, is imposing a sort of ego-like structure of rules around your spirituality. Seek out teachers who help you to find your way, that help you to be free to open your heart, to open your mind, to be a being that is, a quote from Wayne Dyer, open to everything and attached to nothing. And in this way, you are opening yourself to the infinite possibility that is flooding into your life in every single moment. And you are expanding the vessel that you are more and more and able to let in more and more light and joy and freedom and abundance and every desire of your heart. So, having said that, if it feels good to you to be in a straight line between your tailbone and the crown of your head, 
This is a beautiful image and symbol of the conduit that you are between the divine and this earthly plane. It is a beautiful symbol and representation of your central channel that flows through your body, this beautiful golden globe, golden column of light that flows through you. But you can witness this image no matter what position your body is in. If you are lying down, if you're standing, if you're walking, do what feels comfortable to your body. We always begin and end each of these meditations with three long, slow, deep breaths in. And you're doing a lot with these breaths. You're breathing into every cell of your body and nourishing and flooding every atom of you with love and light and oxygen and energy. And you are exhaling everything that doesn't serve you and allowing your body to be in perfect relaxation. You are letting go of everything that came before and everything that will come and bringing yourself fully present into this moment where all of your power is. And finally, you are expanding your heart and expanding the space within you, expanding the vessel that you are to allow in the absolute most loving energy, the most love, the most light. First breath in. Let that all the way out. Next breath in. Magical third breath in. And release. This is such a beautiful gathering. There's such warmth. There's such color. There's such a dazzling array of variety and energy in this collective at this time. The energy looks and feels like a kaleidoscope that has bright reds and bright purples and bright yellows and little dancing dots of dark purples and blacks and browns and it's a beautiful dancing celebration of energy in this collective. The wonderful joyous feeling of integrating all integrating, welcoming, <coughs> embracing, contrast, embracing light, <coughs> letting every experience of this life be embraced and accepted. Noticing with your brilliant five senses the miracle of being in this human body. The myriad of input that is available to you with your senses in each moment. We encourage you to take a moment to notice with all of your senses the things that are happening. What is happening in your fingers and your hands? Is there a tingling? Is there a feeling of specialness in this moment? 
and the way that you are being in this body in this intentional very brief time of setting your intentions of creating this connection with who you are with your beautiful friends here in the circle with the one this connection is always here and present you always have access to your highest self you always have access to one another you are have been and always will be a part of the one. There is no place where you end and spirit begins. There is no barrier between you, this beautiful human being, this beautiful divine soul, having this incredible human experience and the flooding of love, the flooding of divine love and attention and positive regard from your source, from your maker. And so take a moment to appreciate the choice that you made to be in this human body, to see and hear and smell and taste and touch, to experience everything that is associated with this body. This includes everything. This includes pain. This includes discomfort. This includes feeling cold and feeling hot. This includes all of the experiences of interacting with food and with beverages and with liquids and experiencing the sensations that come along with each and every one of these events. And if you so choose, you can create a relationship with your body in which each and every morsel of food is a celebration, is a ceremony, is a communication, is a conversation with you and your body. There is a choice in every single moment of how you are interacting with your body and how you are interacting with the physical world around you. You can make the choice to move your body to the place where it feels the best. You can make the choice to sit in a place that doesn't feel amazing to you and absorb the contrast and absorb the experience and create the knowing that this feeling of discomfort will add to the joy of the next feeling of bliss. So we would love for you to picture this, picture that there is a broad, broad rainbow spectrum ahead of you, that on one end is total darkness, and on the other end is total light. And there's absolute joy and beauty in both, and in every level in between, every shade, every nuance, of yellow and purple and green and red and darkness and light and that you get to feel and experience each and every one of these moments exactly as you choose embracing the darkness embracing the light and so the message that is laid out for you in the cards today is to approach every aspect of this human life as the divine being that you are with complete and total enthusiasm and happiness and joy and celebration. Even when things are hard, even when things are difficult, you can be in the place of celebrating the opportunity to have this experience and then transmute it into what you do prefer to bring this forth with you. Bring the experience and the knowledge and the learning of the discomfort into the next joyous moments of your life. Therefore, increasing the amount of happiness and joy and freedom you can extract from the next moments of your life. Love one another. When you are looking into the faces of other people, expecting 
to see love, expecting to see trust, expecting to, to share compassion, to share cooperation, to share kindness with one another. When this is what you seek, you will find that you are supported in so many ways from every direction by your fellow travelers. You are not alone on this journey. You are completely and totally connected. This beautiful divine energy will bring you together, will put you in the places where you can embrace one another in love and trust and joy and growth and expansion. And as you join together to co-create, your power to create is expanded and magnified and multiplied. And finally, to embrace the courage of your heart to be the valiant, courageous warrior and traveler that you came here to be, to question the choices that you have made, to question if you have made choices out of fear, and to choose to make a different choice, to choose to go in a different direction that may not feel safe to you because it's different, because it's unconventional, because it's non-traditional, because it may cause the people in your life to question your sanity, to question your wisdom, to set aside all judgment from outside of yourself and to be the curious, courageous, wise being that you are looking at everything through the eyes of a child with curiosity and wonder and exploration and receiving all of the joy and wonder that is waiting you and flooding you in this beautiful life that you've chosen to live. And this is the message for you, beautiful human today, to be joyful, to be enthusiastic, to be in trust and love of your fellow humans and to be brave. You cannot get this wrong and you cannot get this done. This is a journey with no destination. This is a journey that is intended to be about the moment, that is intended to be about embracing the beauty and joy and wonder of this present moment. So as you take your three long, slow, deep breaths together to close out this beautiful ceremony, this beautiful meditative journey, make it your intention to embody these messages, to allow this courage, to allow this intention to seek out joy, to trust to make this a part of every cell of your body, every atom of your being, and to go forth into this day, into this week, with this intention, and to live your life in this way, being who you really are, no matter what circumstances arrive. First breath in. And release. Next breath in. And release. Magical third breath in. Together we say thank you, and so it is, and so it shall be, and namaste. All right. 
Okay, my goal is always to, hmm, sorry, gently bring yourself back. Open your eyes gently, return into the present moment easily and honoring your body and honoring your practice, honoring what feels good to you. <sighs> All right, I try my best to keep these gatherings to 30 minutes and I thank you for staying till the end. Um, I hope to see you back here next week. Again, we are moving this gathering one hour earlier, so it will be at six o'clock central time. So as to coincide as closely as possible with the sunrise, I'm doing my best to bring us to a place where we can actually be in the presence of the sunrise. Um, according to the location that I'm in, according to the technology that's available, but I promise to get us as close to nature, as close to being in the actual presence of the sunrise as I possibly can. Your donations are always so greatly appreciated and help to um, fund my work, discovering and exploring sacred rites and rituals and sharing them with you across the world. And so we are in Costa Rica, for the month of February. We will be in Peru in April. We will be in Canada or Ireland or some combination of those in April. And in May, we're gonna see where this journey takes us in the world. So I hope that you will please click the follow button so that you can be reminded of our live events and where we are and be with me on this journey of discovery and exploration and freedom and becoming more and more of who we are each and every moment of each and every day. I hope to see you next week. I love you so much. I'm, this is my favorite moment of the week, this time that I spend with you on Monday mornings. And I am so grateful that you are here. Invite your friends and I will see you next week. I love you. Namaste.